This is the lesson for book 2b, 12g on bearings. The most important thing to learn about bearings are the rules that come with them. So bearings are angles clockwise from north. Okay, so every time you measure or need to draw a bearing, you need to be thinking of angles, you have to go clockwise and you have to start from north. And they also are three figures long. Meaning if I've actually got the angle of 37 degrees, I will be talking about 037 degrees. Questions to do with bearings will always tell you where north is. And if it isn't, it's just up the page. It's the same with maps always going up okay there'll be an n next to it to show that it's north now if i wanted to draw this angle of 037 then i will get my protractor line the protractor up so the center is on the corner north is going to zero and then i'm looking for 37 degrees Then using a ruler, I can line that up. And this angle here is the correct bearing of that. Okay, if I wanted to take a bearing and work out where it was, so for example, I've got my point A and I wanted to walk to B. So I'm looking for the bearing of A to B. Then again, I'm just measuring an angle clockwise from A to B. So that is 151. If I've got an angle over here, so my point C, then I've got a problem because I can't use my tractor the correct way around. Okay, so the bearing is not going to First off, it's not going to be less than 180. And secondly, I'm going to have to think of a way to do it. So I can either use 180 and curve around and try and measure it this way. But really, I'm going to measure this side and then take it from 360, which is the whole circle. Okay, so if I measure this, I've got an angle of 101. Okay. So my bearing of C A to C is 259 degrees. The questions for exercise 12G require you to, for question one, uh, use a protractor to find which of the locations have been identified with the bearings. Number two, you need to fill in the table for the northeast, southwest, uh, and their angles and bearings. Uh, number three, you need to draw some bearings. Number four, you need to do a scale drawing with bearings. And number five, you need to do a scale drawing with bearings. And then to estimate points, you need to measure on your scale diagram and scale them back up.